Hey what's up guys, it's me Anime Oracle, today I'll be doing my review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 67. Now I apologize for this review being relatively late because I was actually working on another Dragon Ball Z discussion video, but basically next time when an episode comes out, it wouldn't be as late as this. Now, this episode was very confusing for some people and I'm gonna hopefully clear up a few misconceptions people have, but let's actually... Um, recap what happened so basically trunks when he slashed zamasu in half zamasu's body his vessel is gone and we know that zamasu is half immortal only the zamasu not black is immortal obviously so that's why he was up in disguise so he became like vapor and he was trying to become the universe itself remember he's not a physical body it's, it's kind of like he's a vapor and he was casting himself onto the universe so obviously in the skies you would see Zamasu's face not merge Zamasu not Goku Black because he's the only part that is immortal so now you cannot actually beat him because he's becoming the universe itself so what Goku did was that he went and um, he called Zeno future Zeno now future Zeno obviously does not know Goku because the timelines are inter are uh, not dependent on each other. So Future Zeno does not know who Goku is, but he, he saw that the, that the universe was messed up, so he destroyed all of the contents inside of that universe. He did not destroy the timeline itself, okay? When I cleared that up, he did not destroy the timeline, because obviously they went back to it in, the future, uh, in, in a bit. So he destroyed the contents of that universe, so everything is like blank, okay? He did not destroy the timeline, so that timeline still exists, but it's empty. So Zeno destroys everything, and then Goku and friends, they go back to the present. Okay? Um, so that's what actually happened. They went back to the present, and um, Goku and Trunks, they went back to that timeline. Remember, the timeline exists, but the contents, the universe is destroyed. So they went, they picked up future Zeno, brought him to the present, and brought him to present Zeno. Obviously present Zeno does know Goku and obviously there's that promise that Goku wanted to find him a friend and he did. So future Zeno and present Zeno are now friends so he, that's the friend that he wanted. We also learned that the um, grand, I uh, forgot his name, the grand something, uh, well you get what I'm saying. He is actually the father of Whis. That automatically means he's also the father of Vados. Um, yeah, the grand priest. So the grand priest is the father of Vados and Whis. Okay, and um, he said that he envies Universe 7. Now, I don't want to ponder too much on those choice of words because then we're gonna start speculating. But he does say that, and then you know, Zeno and future Zeno now become mates and all that type of stuff. But one thing that I wanted to say is that um, basically, what's gonna happen is that since that universe inside the future Trunks' timeline is destroyed, Trunks and Mai have nothing to return to. So Whis offered the idea that they would take Mai and Trunks to the future timeline but before Zamasu was destroyed. Okay, so if you think about it this way, if it's a if it's a line, so you have the destruction of, of that universe at the end and you have the present and basically Whis wants to send Trunks and Mai to a point in the timeline before it was destroyed. That obviously means that Zamasu would still be alive and they would still have to fight Zamasu, but then we proposed that he goes uh, into the future, but before the Supreme Kai dies. Now we know the Supreme Kai dies um, against the Buddha or something like that, so the Supreme Kai dies way before the Zamasu arc, okay? So what's gonna happen is that Whis is going to go to the Buu arc inside of the future Trunks' timeline, get Beerus, okay? before Supreme Kai dies, and then when Zamasu's arc comes in, Beerus will still be alive, we should get Beerus to destroy Zamasu. And as for him being immortal, he has a new idea to steal him, uh, sorry, a new idea better than the sealing urn that they had, the Mafuba. So what's gonna happen is that he's gonna go get Beerus, okay, so that's, that's gonna be the Buu arc, then come the Zamasu arc, Beerus will destroy Zamasu. Now, Trunks and Mai are going to return to a point in the future timeline before it was destroyed, okay? And obviously Zamasu will not matter because Beerus would have taken care of them, taken care of him by that time. So Trunks and Mai will return 
to a point in that timeline before its destruction, okay, and Zamas would have been dealt with by Beerus. So basically that implies there'll be two trunks and two mice. Obviously, this trunk that we saw at the end of this episode and that trunks of that timeline respectively, there'll be obviously two trunks and two mice. Okay, and they'll be okay with that, so they go back in time. And that's basically what happens in that episode. So there's a bit of timeline shit going on that some people are confused about. But we also learn that when Beerus destroys Zamasu, he creates a timering. So every action that happens, it creates like a parallel timeline that you can travel to. So when he destroyed Zamasu, there was a new timeline of which Zamasu was not destroyed by Beerus, if that makes sense. Which kind of links in with a real life theory. But anyways, that is what happens. Beerus and Reese now go away. And Zeno has his friend, and Trunks and Mai, they go back to the future, but before its destruction. So that's basically all the timeline jibber jabber that people were confused about. That's basically what just happened in this episode. Now, I, I want to say a couple of things. Animation-wise, it was shit compared to the last episode, because at some points, it had um, still frames for a couple of seconds. It had really shit in between frames and bad animations and facial expressions but it was okay because the plot and all of that kind of made up and compensated for that so this episode was pretty good it wasn't that good but it was it, it was pretty good but um, this means that Reese is probably the weakest one in his family or equal to Vados okay so the Grand Priest is his father and Gawasu said that, you know, uh, that's a sin, and he might pick a new apprentice. Obviously, he needs to pick Fuser, uh, Wiser, now. Okay, and it was a, there was a pretty, um, pretty cool ending at the end where Vegeta punches Trunks, you know, that moment, son, father, and everybody's saying goodbye. It was pretty, pretty emotional, I would say. It was a, it was a really well done episode, I would say. Pretty good, okay. That's basically what happens. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.